Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while. By the title, you can tell that this is going to be a Disney haul of what I got from January until the April trip, which is already all up. Um, I don't know the order, so I'm just going to talk about each thing I got. Um, some things are actually from Disney World and some things were made for me to wear at Disney World. Um, we'll start with the things that I got at Disney World. Most of these things were gifted to me and I'm so grateful and thankful that they were, my friends were able to get me these things from Disney. Um, so here we go. I'll leave, okay. This is the first one, is my bell crown. I got this, I believe, on the January trip with the quack pack, which is really great. Um, I love it because Bell is my favorite. And I love tiaras, I love crowns. Um, so this you can get at the Magic Kingdom in the Castle C Culture, Castle Culture um, shop. It was about $17. It was worth it. I mean, at least to me, it was worth it because right after I bought the crown, I was going to see Belle and seeing her makes me happy. I'll just put this one in there. Okay, is it even stay? Maybe, possibly. All right, next I'm going to bring up this item that people are probably going to think, Erica, why? But this has always been one of my favorite things to get at Disney, especially when I was younger at Disney's Vero Beach. They used to have these in every drink. And they stopped selling these. And it used to be really sad that they didn't have them anymore because these are my apps these are my absolute favorites. So they now sell them. Um, I got mine at Saratoga Springs. It was like 69 cents. Best investment I've ever made because I'm so happy that I have these now. Because there's the bomb.com. The last one I had um, was put in the dishwasher and it melted. So note to self, guys, wash these by hand. Do not put them in the dishwasher. That is a no, no, big no, no. We're going to put you back over here. Okay, next I'm going to show some pins that um, some of my friends gave me. I'm going to do all the frozen pins that I got first. So I got an Elsa one that says December because that is my birth month. Like this was given to me in January. Um, I believe this was bought in Magic Kingdom. This one is also an Elsa one that I got while pin trading. Let's see if you guys can see that better. There you go. Um, and then the next one is also another Elsa one that was bought in Epcot, I think, at Mouse Gears. Again, these are all gifted to me, so I'm not pretty sure what the prices are for these. But pins probably don't go any higher than $13. The next two are Star Wars related. And they're my two favorite Star Wars characters ever. We have a Chewie that was gifted to me. And we have a Yoda. My two favorite Star Wars characters ever. Along with all the droids. I love those. Um, okay. This is something new. They now have, because this year makes 25 years of DVC members. So they have a bunch of Disney Vacation Club shirts, pillows, household items. So I wanted a pillow because, look, it matched this, my room. And on the pillow, it has all of the different resorts when they opened. It's really, really nice. I love this side because I am obsessed with this color blue. Um, let me get really close. Yeah, I got this also at Saratoga Springs because that is a Disney Vacation Club resort. So over there, they had the new shirts, the new sweaters. Um... Yeah, all the stuff is really, really, really nice. So if you're a DVC member, totally get it. And you get your discount on it as well. So I'm so happy I got this because now it's a nice 
and just use a mirror. So as you can see from the corner, there is a tank. She is a, the newest addition to my room. And I this does not have the price on it. Let me see. This is quite expensive, but very worth it. It's $49, almost $50. But tank is everything. So this makes me so happy because I like I don't have any tank in my room, which is really sad. Because she's like one of my favorites. So you'd expect me to have a lot of tank in my room. So this is my first tank. Um, she was bought at the Emporium on Main Street USA at the Magic Kingdom. And I just love it so much. I saw it and I was like, I need to have her. It's so perfect. And the last thing that had been purchased and is actually a gift is a magic band. And it is the flower and garden, let me show you all of it, magic band that has figment on it. Let me take out the magic band. They only make a limited amount. And I love, 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 love figment with all my heart. So I was really happy to get this. And I lied. That's not the last thing that I purchased. Because I also got this lovely phone case. In my January trip, no, that's a lie, February trip, I got this, which was really amazing. Um, the straw and the pillows were both from the March trip. Um, Star Wars pins were from January. Frozen pins were from April. Now I'm going to move on to things that were made for me to wear to Disney that aren't from Disney. So that there will be no estimated prices or where to find them kind of thing. What I'm going to show you first are these bows that my friend made me. This is a Star Wars one. I love it a lot. I need to get the clip for it. This is an Elsa one because, you know, obsession. This is another Frozen one that has Elsa and Anna on it. And the last one is Mickey Mouse comic. I love it very much. And these two beauties I want to show you, you have seen in the videos. And it is these two Mickey ears, which are made by my best friend, Nia. And I am so thankful that she was able to make these for me because they just, I got so many compliments and it's so much better than just having plain ears. It's so cool to have them themed. Especially the Baymax ones. Baymax ones? Why did I? Okay. The Baymax ones. I think they're so cool and unique because a lot of people don't have these or have any like this. And people were pointing them out. And this one lady's like, oh, look at those Baymax ears. And I'm like, oh, where? And I realized it was me wearing them and uh, along with my Baymax dress. And I just, I love, I'm obsessed. I love them. And I also love my Star Wars ones because these get a lot of compliments too because they're not like ordinary Star Wars ones. So they're really cool. And I'm really grateful for my friend Nia that she made these for me. Really absolutely love them. Um, I forgot one more thing that I got in the park. This! Duh, I'm wearing it. It's my Splash Mountain sweater I got in January when I rode Splash Mountain in 50 degree weather and I was freezing and I had to change because... It was a mess. Um, those are the only things I got. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed what I got. Maybe it gives you ideas to get when you go. And I hope the pricing helped. I won't be back to Disney till maybe July, which is very sad. But we'll have a lot of videos up. There is going to be, you know, videos of what's coming to Disney, how construction's going, changes, and stuff like that. So. We'll still have content. Hopefully I can try to make it over there in May. I really hope I can. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything. Um, if there's anything else that you guys want me to show you or explain, please let me know because I will gladly do it for you guys. And until next time, see you later.